So here I am back at the room and I know that I do not want this um, soccer ball in here. So I'm going to make my tool here smaller and I am going to take it and sample it from the floor here. And this is an easy one. See, I just cover over that soccer ball. Um, and they're sort of modeling in the floor, so that's fine. Even it out there a little. Okay. Um, now, another tool I want to show you, and not forget to show you, which is really nice. If you have little spots that you want to get rid of, like there's a spot here and a spot there, it's called the self-healing tool. Uh, spot healing tool so you just go and click on it, it looks sort of like a band-aid and you just click and it makes the spot go away so what it's doing is it's looking around that area and it's figuring out what needs to go away so it's really good if you're cleaning up say spots in a carpet you know lint on a carpet or something like that um, like here's a spot over here boom it's gone it's a great tool all right, so um, what I'm thinking is I am going to put a rug right over this existing rug here. So I, and I'm going to leave this um, console here and I want to get rid of this couch. So I am going to sample from right here because I think part of what I'm seeing in this area here is a shadow caused by the couch and over here as well. So if I sample here, oops, it seems like I didn't click hard enough on that. Maybe I forgot to click on the that tool. Um, and I need to make this smaller. Okay, so I'm grabbing from here. I'm gonna click. So see, there's not much of a sample spot, so it really quickly um, starts to fill in there. So I'm going to start to play with this. I'm going to play with this lightness here. So I'm getting a lot of bumpy unevenness, which um, is sometimes just a product of not having enough to sample from. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to harden hardness up because I want to get this console in here so I'm going to click here on the console and like I did before I'm going to color in there and then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to make this much smaller I'm going to make it totally hard and I'm going to click, that's too far. So I've got the corner up there. So I want to go down a little bit more so I don't get the corner. I'm going to go down. I need to go back up and down. And I just keep doing that until I get to the corner of my console. Okay? So now I can pull back and look at how spotty it looks. Looks like the floor is dirty, doesn't it? I mean, it is definitely modeled, but we look looks like there's dirt here. So I think what I'm going to do is remember how I showed you before when we're working on the wood that you can alter a pattern by taking um, just a little bit of a uh, Tint. So I, I changed the opacity to 43%, so I'm cleaning that up, lightening it, um, which is working pretty well, except I've got this hard edge. So I'm going to go back, and I am going to change that hardness. So you can see now, this was a good example, because when I kept changing that hardness, probably didn't really have a sense of what it was what the difference is, but you could see with that edge that it left on that. So I'm just cleaning this up a bit. It's making a little bit fuzzy perhaps, but it'll probably in the end 
be better because it's not going to stand out as much. Um, yeah, it's pretty even. Now this is nice and defined here. So maybe what I'll do is um, make the opacity 100% and sample a little bit here. I'm going to uh, soften that edge. And I'm going to go in here and add a little bit. So it looks a little bit like there's areas that are defined. Because if you look here, you see this looks defined. This looks a little fuzzy. So that's what I'm sort of imitating. I've got cleanness here, and then it's fuzzy there. And I added this area there. So let me do a little bit more of that. I'm going to sample from here and give a little bit of definition in there. Um, getting a little bit too light over here, but I was going to hit the rug from my sample section. So now I can just sample from in there. Okay. So this looks a little dirty here. I'm going to grab here and see it's just a little bit lighter and I'll continue up here where that rug would angle into the room all this. So um, now in here, if I'm going to bring down this wall. I'm going to click here and go right here. So I was looking at the tile and seeing where I should be sampling from. And notice I'm very quickly running into um, noise from other parts of this image. And you know, when I look at this, actually, if I look at the horror the horizontal, whoops, didn't mean to do that so drastically. If I look at under this couch, the horizontal line there, I probably added too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab here and I am going to bring down a rule. So I'm looking, it looks like that is pretty horizontal there. Okay, so I grabbed that already and I'm going to go over to here and paint in that tile and where it goes down. So I want to get the base of that lamp in there, which is okay. I'm going to remove that line now, so I'm going to go to Clear Guides. Okay, so it gave me just a little bit of a shadow. It's very subtle, but it gives me a little bit of an edge for there. I'm going to copy it and paste it over here, and copy and paste it over here. It kind of looks like it's a foot on that body there. It's kind of weird. Um, okay, and then that person in the shadows over here is totally blurry, so we need to figure out how that shadow is going to end. Um, and I'm not exactly sure. Um, I will just play with it and see. Sometimes you don't have a clear vision, so you just go with what you do have. Uh, so I'll grab this, take from here, and I'm just going to soften that. And then maybe I'll take this edge here. See, I just went with it. Just gave me an idea seeing that soft edge there. So I'm bringing that over there a little and I'll grab from here and spot in there. Um, this is too big now. I'm getting too much stuff there. So I'm going and making that smaller again. And I'm going to grab from here and clean that all up. So maybe it looks a little funky, but Okay, so that's not so bad. So I've cleaned up that floor, so now I can go and put a rug on there. So I'm going to put this on pause and go get that rug. Okay, I've gone back. I've grabbed that rug. I selected it, copied it, and I'm going to paste. So there it is. So I am going to now do Command T to transform. I'm going to go up into transform and I want to distort. 
and so just like last week and you do not need to use this rug you can use any rug you want you don't need to use a rug down a little. Um, okay. So now, just like last week, this rug looks a little bright because you see how there's lightness here and then it gets darker. Um, also looking at this, it looks like I'm seeing a little bit of that other rug there. So now I'm going to go back and do Command T again to pull it out and just cover it a little bit more. Okay, great. So um, I could put a shadow on it now, but I still don't know exactly what I'm putting in here and I'm gonna put some furniture on it. So I may at that point need to um, add other shadows as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is hide this right now because I realize I want to get rid of this chair over here. So I am going to go back into the background layer here and I am going to grab my rubber stamp tool again. Or you know what? This is another thing I do sometimes. I will grab an area like this and I will copy and I will paste. If I have a pretty good size area, um, I can just copy and paste it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with repeating these logs. So I can just go and place that right there. And so it looks like this one looks pretty good and that's filling in there. So that worked pretty well. Um, and so I am going to now merge this layer onto this one because if I go in to use the rubber stamp tool, one thing that happens is if I rubber stamp from here to here, I need them to be on the same layer. So I'm on layer two and I wanna merge it with that background layer. So I go over to merge down. So it's just merging the, those two layers together. And so now I can blow up this and I can go take that tool again. I'm going to make it um, a bit smaller. The hardness is okay. And so first thing is right here. This is a simple one. Go for the low hanging fruit and fix the edge of that log there. Um, blend this one in a little bit there. Okay. Um, this piece here, I think what I'll do is just get some of this blonde color, wood color in there. And get that going in there. Um, and then uh, I'll take a little chunk here and soften that edge. Um, one thing I should have done, actually I realize now, see this piece right here, this gray? is actually blocking the logs behind there. And it's flattened, but before I flattened it, I could have gone and erased that. And I neglected to do that, so now it's a done deal. So I can, I have to go and work with what I have here. Let me, um, I think I'm gonna take this log here and just copy that log right in there. And I can keep going and see what happens by copying these other logs. So now I'm going to have a problem where I need to get some edges to the log. So um, I can potentially go in and put the fireplace there, or I could just go and grab some of the logs here. You know what? I'm going to grab this here. Oops, sorry, I was clicking on, but I'm going to click that and I'm going to create this edge there from that log and then I'm going to go with the um, I'm going to grab I guess it's a fireplace that would be there so I'm going to grab some of the fireplace